The Richardson's ground squirrel, or flickertail, is a small burrowing rodent of the short grass prairie. Similar to prairie dogs in their behavior, the squirrels live together in related groups or colonies. These ground squirrels are common in several northern states and Canada. Though they are native to prairie habitats, they can sometimes be found in suburban areas, digging tunnels under the sidewalks and patios of homes. The squirrels build elaborate burrow systems that are used for shelter, protection from predators, food storage, and hibernation. Their burrows vary greatly in length and depth, ranging from 13 to 50 feet long and 3 to 6 feet deep depending on the terrain, soil type, and drainage. With their gregarious personalities and active lifestyles, it's easy to find their antics amusing. However, all that digging can put them at odds with people. Their burrowing can cause damage to foundations, crops, fences, roads, and other structures. In Montana and other northern states, the squirrels are causing havoc in unlikely places, military defense sites. Richardson's ground squirrels can easily pass through or under chain-link security fences at underground missile silos, triggering sensors that alert security personnel and require costly follow-up inspections. The squirrels' burrowing also damages the facility's infrastructure, such as cement foundations and underground cables, potentially impacting military operations. These concerns recently led to a collaborative study between the Department of Defense and scientists at the National Wildlife Research Center. The National Wildlife Research Center, or NWRC, is part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Services Program. Its mission is to apply scientific expertise to resolve problems between people and wildlife. At the Center's Outdoor Rodent Pens in Fort Collins, Colorado, NWRC scientist Dr. Gary Whitmer is developing and testing several physical barriers for use in excluding Richardson's ground squirrels. With the help of ground squirrels captured in Montana, Whitmer and his team conducted week-long trials with various barrier designs. Barriers tested included different types of wire mesh, clear plastic, electric tape, and pea gravel. The goal was to find a barrier that kept ground squirrels from entering an area from either above or below ground. From this study video, you can see that ground squirrels easily climbed or passed through some of the barriers. Of the various materials tested, the squirrels were able to climb over small mesh expanded metal, squeeze through one inch mesh, and claw through stainless steel fabric. However, researchers didn't give up and were able to identify several barriers that were effective at preventing ground squirrel movement. These included two above ground and two below ground barriers. For above ground, clear hard plastic and electric tape worked well. For below ground, small mesh expanded metal and pea gravel filled trenches. Dr. Whitmer and his team plan to put the barrier designs to the true test when they take them to the field in 2012. Finding safe, practical, and effective solutions to wildlife damage management problems such as these is a key goal of NWRC's research. To learn more, please visit our website at www.aphis.usda.gov slash wildlife underscore damage slash NWRC.